Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 198. And today we're going to be going over the sub-user module. The sub-user module allows you to create a user and then have that user be able to create users underneath themselves. So you could have in what our example is going to be is a manager user that can create uh, content reviewers underneath them and then you can give them permissions to control if they can edit or delete those sub users and you can do all kinds of cool things so we're going to be going over that today but before we get started make sure to follow me on twitter at smthomas3 if you haven't already and check out codekarate.com make sure you look at uh, some of the other videos and posts and you can learn a lot about Drupal and click this little link over here for the free sticker giveaway if you haven't already, and we will send you a Code Karate sticker right to your door. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our development site here that we will be working on, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the sub-user modules. The two we're going to be going over today are just the sub-user and the sub-user UI. The sub-user switch module allows you to switch to a sub-user or log in as a sub-user. We won't be going over that one. You can see I'm using the dev version. Uh, you shouldn't have to use the dev version, but I was doing some testing. It does require the relation module, so you'll need to have that downloaded and installed in order for this to work. So we're going to go ahead and install these. And the next step, once these are installed, is to go to the permissions page and set permissions for the sub-user module. So I'm going to go ahead and sort this just for sub-user permissions. And you can see we have a list of permissions here. The important one that you need to have is to allow them to create an authenticated user. So in this case you can see I have a manager role and a reviewer role. Well what I would like to do is allow the manager to create other accounts and possibly give those a accounts a reviewer role so they can either create just authenticated users or an actual authenticated user with a reviewer role so in order to do that I need to make sure they have the manager account or manager role has create an authenticated user permission checked I'm also going to give it create a reviewer permission so let's save that and what we will do is we will go ahead and create an account called manager quick and we will give it the manager role And in this case, you notice there's a field here. It's user relation, so it'll store a relationship that'll allow further management of the user. So I'll go ahead and allow that. And just to check, you'll notice that when you come to your account page, when I clicked over here, there's a sub users option here. Under sub users, I now have this manager option. So now this manager is technically a sub user of Code Karate. And so if I edit this, you can see that it's just like a normal edit page. There's a sub-user limit. So whoops. we will go ahead and log in then with as this manager. And you'll notice if we go to your My Account page as a manager, you see sub-users here. It says the user currently doesn't have any sub-users, which makes sense. But you can add a user. So if you click Add, you get the normal, or what looks like the normal, user add form. You'll notice one difference. You don't see any role selection, and I'll explain why in a second. That's actually something that should be there, but it's not showing up currently. But let's go ahead and create a reviewer.
Okay, so now a reviewer has been created. If I come back to the My Account page and go to Subusers, I can see that Reviewer 1 has been created. I don't have any access to edit this user, and currently the user only has the authenticated user role. So obviously this isn't right. So what we can do is let's come back to our admin side, and let's go back to the permissions page. And let's give the manager permission to edit subusers and delete subusers. So we will go ahead and save that. And now if we come back to our manager account and we refresh the page, you'll see I now have edit and delete links. So if I edit this user, you will notice the roles option does show up and it only shows those roles that I have permission to create for. So I can give them the reviewer role now. I can save that. And now when I come into the subusers page, you're going to see they have the authenticated user and reviewer role. So you might be wondering why you can't uh, select the actual role when you're creating the, the account. And there's actually a bug out here on Drupal.org, which hopefully by the time you're watching this, this might already be fixed. If it's not, you can see they have a solution here. And in the next video, I'm actually going to show you not using necessarily this solution, but how you could debug this and fix it on your own. So we'll get into a little module development and you'll look at uh, the details of the sub-user module and figure out how you could fix this to kind of work. And then, of course, you could have posted this issue yourself. But we'll go through that in the next video. But you'll see what the sub-user module does is it allows you to really create a hierarchy of users or, I guess, relationships between users. So in this case, the manager is a sub-user of the Code Karate account, but it also has sub-users of its own. So a manager could then manage multiple reviewers, manage their accounts on your site, and they could be in charge of possibly reviewing content. They would only have the permissions that a reviewer would have. Make sure you're careful, of course, when you're giving out these permissions, because these whatever roles you allow to create accounts, they can uh, possibly do things that could harm your site. So you want to be very careful with the permissions. You, for example, probably don't want managers being able to create administrators. So just keep that in mind. It's a really simple to use module. Besides that one bug, it seems to work really smooth and allows you to go ahead and create all different kinds of user hierarchies on your site which can be really good, especially if you have a lot of content and you want people to review it, or you're creating some kind of a so social networking site. I can see a lot of uses for it. So go ahead and give the sub-user module a try. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com. Check the next video if you're interested in learning a little bit of module development and how you could debug the problem that we found earlier on not being able to actually select the role when you're creating the account. So we'll do a little... Uh, module investigation in the next episode. But that's it for this time. Make sure to get your free Code Karate sticker, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.